Is your computer talking to you? What am I? Are you ready for an artificial girlfriend? Are you single and lonely? Probably not. Except the last one. That's true. Every time you log on to a website, you are presented with random letters and countless images from which they want you to choose simple objects such as buses or traffic lights. Do they think we are stupid? I hope not. Well then, why are the websites making us do that? The CAPTCHA is actually a reverse Turing test which checks for human intelligence in a human, thus preventing automated hacking. Even the most superior systems such as Google AI recognition or Amazon's recognition aren't able to do this simple task of identifying CAPTCHA which a 5 year old can do in a second. But why is coding an intelligent system which can mimic human thinking a problem even today? Well mainly because we haven't yet figured out a framework of how we think. Ask yourself, how do you know it when you know what you see is a traffic light? Now let's try to understand why a machine can't do the same thing. This abstract entity in the brain which understands, perceives, experiences and feels is termed as consciousness. It is basically a variable name given to all the processes in the brain that we don't understand. Dreaming, recognizing objects, having an internal dialogue, you know, the voice in your head, all come under this. It helps us imagine things which are not even there. You could see a semicircle and know that it is part of a full one. When a cartoon character goes off the screen, it does not stop existing for us. We have a whole image inferred in our brains. This is entirely contradictory to how computers think. Their algorithms have always to be constructed from fundamental units. As much as we progress in creating strong AIs, we realize that mental algorithms are insanely more complex. And until we understand these complex processes, Consciousness is going to be a nightmare for all AI engineers. Fortunately, the Blue Brain project in Switzerland currently aims to solve this problem. They plan to recreate the neocortex of a rodent. The neocortex in the brain is the place where consciousness is supposed to decide and experiments done on that could prove to be huge for AGI research. And these processes are already proving to be too heavy even on supercomputers and right now they are only working on rodent brains. All working examples of humanly intelligent AIs today, from the parody therapy system Eliza to the humanoid Sophia, which may even pass the Turing test, are only models of consciousness working on a set of defined rules and not true consciousness. Let's look at John Searle's thought experiment, The Chinese Room. In the experiment, he concludes that a computer which is programmed to converse in Chinese does not necessarily understand Chinese and cannot be said to be conscious. Wait. What? Why? What is the difference between understanding Chinese and speaking Chinese? Let's say for simplistic terms that the code for a Chinese chatbot is in front of you and the input is high in Chinese. Then you can also go through that code with the help of a calculator and few interns, follow all the functions and data and eventually you will generate a Chinese high in response. But does that mean that you understand Chinese? No, you only understand how to follow instructions. Computers work in a deterministic manner. Each step has to be directly caused by a previously existing step. Any AI, no matter how strong or complex, has to be made up of building blocks of such instructions, which only guide it to the next step, the next step, and so on, till the output is computed. We could program the computers to learn the same way that we do and perform autonomous and truly random function. But hey, does anybody know how we actually do that? Therefore, the hard problems turns harder as even our strongest AIs fail to come close. So unless we figure out what consciousness really is, or if it even exists as an entity, it seems unlikely that we could develop AGI. So no need to be afraid of Skynet and so sorry that you won't be getting your artificial Scarlett Johansson anytime soon because AI is still not conscious. If you like this video, then subscribe to Analytics India magazine and next week I'll be here to tell you how AI will transform the music industry.